Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Ndimasi uh, Arivo, Deputy President. Can we do beneficiaries or beneficiation in this country if we do not have the skills of production? For an example, the Medupi power station, we had to bring in skilled welders from other countries because South Africans welders lacked the required skills. Would you agree, Honorable Deputy President, that South Africa seems to be more obsessed with tertiary qualifications rather than artisan skill development, and this obsession is costing us heavily. Thank you. Honorable GP. The Masia Rindi Arivua Nambuzi Soyao. I'd like to, to say that we are seeing a great deal of improvement in the take up of artisan training by young people, particularly those who go to our Tibet colleges, and some even get that type of training in community colleges. And I wouldn't say that you know, we, should be very dis we should be dismissive of the type of training that uh, young people are getting in this regard. The Tibet colleges are actually beginning to record great success in that they're beginning to do a balance between theoretical learning and practical learning. And that gives young people the opportunity to delve into the, 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 the practical world of work and to also learn real skills and some of them are actually taking up artisanship and learning uh, crafts uh, that they become certificated for after some time. Admittedly, we should say that we don't have too many of these great opportunities to give young people the artisan training skills, but they are increasing. The Minister of Higher Education is under a great deal of pressure because he has found that he needs to be building Tibet colleges maybe one every week, and the budgetary constraints are holding him back because it is at the Tibet colleges that young people are able to pick these skills up, and we're hoping that there'll be more and more of these. Now, the lesson that we learned with Midupi, for instance, did in, in many ways give us a wake-up call that we did not have those highly specialized welders. Now, we are now training welders in our country, and not only, you know, ordinary welders, but your high-tech welders are now being trained here. So, in effect, we are learning from the experience of other countries and bringing in people from uh, various other countries is also a great boon for us because we utilize the skills that they have to transfer skills to us. For instance, we've got a number of uh, mechanics, motor mecha mechanics from Cuba, who are in this country, and they are transferring skills, real skills, and because in Cuba they still use the 1950s models. And if you can repair a 1950s car, you can repair anything. Uh, so. Those skills are being transferred to us. Now, if you've ever tried to Order. be a mechanic, if you've ever tried to be a mechanic like I have, you will know that uh, it is of great benefit to use an older car to learn your craft so that you can utilize it on newer cars. So the Cubans are teaching us a lot of skills and we're learning a lot of other skills from many other nations. Thank you very much. <laughs>